Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we have come to meet the wonderful God who is so beautiful, so kind, so loving and caring. That let us all join in praising and thanking Him for making each one of us something beautiful for Him. I pray for all of you who are at home by joining Lionel and Edward and me in offering this sacrifice of love. We are on the eve when the whole Puna diocese are going to join our Bishop Thomas Dabri in spending the next 24 hours in prayer, storming the heavens, interceding with the Lord. Lord, save us. Thus I invite you to prepare yourselves well right from this evening to enter into 24 hours of prayer, which you can do it the whole 24 hours if you like, since you're all at home. But at this service, let us surrender to the Lord the whole diocese, surrendering to the Lord the whole world, that this virus, by this Pentecost day, may vanish from the world. Intercede. All things are possible with God. And then joining at this Eucharist, we have a thanks you mass offered by Karen and Reuben for the gift of her baby girl in the family. They have also offered a mass in honor of St. Jude in Thanksgiving too. Then we have a thanksgiving mass offered by Josephine Thomas and Rita Thomas and Mass offered by the Sebastian, Victor, Vincent, Ruby, Christian, Rhea, Judith, and all the other members of the family, with Ashwin Pavar and Jessica. And we pray for the soul of Sebastian and Oracle Mary, Sister Bartholomew Paru, Agnes and Peter, Mass offered by the Sebastian family. And we pray for another parishioner who accidentally has been in a terrible state right now. Pray that she may recover and that the family may rejoice at her recovery. Let us now begin with our Eucharist. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Coming to today's Gospel, Jesus is telling all that he has done by doing everything that you learned from the Father. And now it is accomplished. The last three words that he spoke on the Gospel. It is finished. That is what he is explaining to us in today's Gospel. Let us always trust in this Lord. That one word from him is going to heal us. The one word which you say with so much confidence before receiving communion, that one word you may speak to the world and we shall be healed. To prepare ourselves for such healing, let us call to mind all those moments that we have fallen and failed the Lord in living out our Christian life. So we confess together. I, I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, to my fault, 
through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, your virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make of us a perfect temple of His glory. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus, Paul sent for the elders of the church of Ephesus. When they arrived, he addressed these words to them. You know what my way of life has been ever since the first day I set foot among you in Asia. How I have served the Lord in all humility with all the sorrows and trials that came to me through the plots of the Jews. I have not hesitated to do anything that would be helpful to you. I have preached to you and instructed you both in public and in your homes, urging both Jews and Greeks to turn to God and to believe in our Lord Jesus. And now you see me, a prisoner, already in spirit. I am on my way to Jerusalem, but have no idea what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit, in town after town, has made it clear enough that imprisonment and persecution await me. But life to me is not a thing to waste words on, provided that when I finish my race, I have carried out the mission the Lord Jesus gave me, and that was to bear witness to the good news of God's grace. I now feel sure that none of you among whom I have gone about proclaiming the kingdom will ever see my face again. And so here, now, I swear that my conscience is clear as far as all of you are concerned. For I have without faltering but before you the whole of God's purpose. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm, kingdoms of the earth sing to God together. Kingdoms of the earth sing to God. You poured down, O God, a generous rain. When your people were starved, you gave them new life. It was there that your people found a home prepared in your goodness, O God, for the poor. Our response, kingdoms of the earth sing to God. May the Lord be blessed day after day. He bears our burdens, God our Savior. This God of ours is a God who saves. The Lord our God holds the keys of death. Our response, kingdoms of the earth sing to God. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation.
I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I go, but I will come back to you, and your hearts will be full of joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so that your Son may glorify you, and through the power for all mankind that you have given him, let him give eternal life to all those who have entrusted to you. And eternal life is this, to know you, the one true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent, I have glorified you on earth and finished the work that you gave me to do. Now, and now, Father, it is time for you to glorify me with the glory I had with you before ever the world was. I have made known your name to the men you took from the world to give me, they were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now at last they know that you have given me, comes indeed from you. For this I have given them, the teaching you gave to me, and they have truly accepted this, that I came from you. And I believed that it was you who sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, because they belong to you. All I have is yours, and all you have given is mine, and in them I am glorified. I am not in the world any longer, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. Amen. <coughs> that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good, and good of all his holy church. church. Amen. Accept, O Lord, the prayer of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness 
we may pass over to the glory of heaven. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that you see our salvation. At all times proclaim you, O Lord. But in this time of a war, to Lord you yet were gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers and the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, against we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, let it you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink a bit, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, counting us worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the church. We pray for all those who have died in our families. We pray for all those who have died in the world because of this virus. Be merciful to them, Lord. Now we pray for ourselves. The whole diocese is going to pray for us. Thus make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, a blessed Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that with the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Peace be with Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above everything, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you are already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Allow me not to be separated from you. Jesus, my good, my sweet, and only love, inflame this heart of mine, that it may be always on fire for you. Communion and Faith The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of all that I have told you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. <coughs> we are partaking of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you all and remain with your love and forever. Amen. So, dear friends, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. We now ready ourselves to partake in this novena in honor of St. Anthony. We have got some bread for you also. All together, O white lily of purity, sublime example of poverty, true mirror of humility, resplendent star of sanctity, O glorious Saint Anthony, who did enjoy the sweet privilege of receiving your arms, the infant Jesus, I beseech thee to take me under thy powerful protection. Thou in whom the power of working miracles shines forth among the other gifts of God. Have pity upon me and come to my aid in this my great need. Ab ham luk sab milkar, sin Anthony ke paas prarthna kare. 
कि हम सबों के लिए जीजस से आशीर्वाद अपना ले टूगेदर क्लेंस माय हार्ट फ्रॉम एवरी डिसऑर्डरली एफेक्शन ऑब्टेन फॉर मी अ ट्रू कंट्रीशन फॉर माय सिंस एंड द ग्रेट लव ऑफ गॉड एंड माय नेबर that serving god faithfully in this life i may become to praise enjoy and bless him eternally with thee in paradise amen let us pray o most merciful jesus who has glorified in an admirable man thy holy cross of saint anthony by continual miracles give us the grace to feel assured that we shall obtain through his intercessions and merits what we ask in confidence who livest and reignest with god the father and the holy spirit forever and ever amen let us thank saint anthony for all the graces and blessings that he obtains for us from jesus our father what in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners Now and in the hour of our death, Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, Amen. May the blessing of the mighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Navina, in honor of the Holy Spirit, Day Five, the gift of knowledge. The gift of knowledge. enables the soul to evaluate created things at their true worth in their relation to god knowledge unmasks the pretense of creatures reveals their emptiness and points out their only true purpose as instruments in the service of god it shows us the loving care of god even in adversity and directs us to glorify him in every circumstance of life guided by its light we put first things first and prize the friendship of god beyond all else knowledge is a fountain of life to him that possesses it prayer together come, come o oh blessed spirit, spirit of, of knowledge and, and grant that i may perceive the will, will of the father show me the nothingness of all things that i may realize their vanity and use them only for thy glory and my own salvation looking ever beyond them to thee and thy eternal rewards amen queen of heaven rejoice Alleluia for he whom you did merit to bear alleluia has risen as he said alleluia pray for us to god alleluia rejoice and be glad o virgin mary alleluia for the lord has risen, risen indeed alleluia let us pray o god who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your son our lord jesus christ grant that we may obtain through his virgin mother mary the joys of everlasting life through the same christ our lord amen
to our dear friends. God bless all of you for joining us this celebration. And just a reminder, tomorrow the whole church of Puna Dynasties, abiding by the call of our Bishop Tadras Dabri, begin with the 24-hour adoration at 5 in the morning and will conclude the next day at 6 o'clock. We have been allotted our church, Holy Trinity Church, and the church at Mahabeshwar from 11 o'clock till 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So tomorrow at 11 o'clock we'll have a mass, a short one, and the rest of the time will be spent in adoration. Blessed Sacrament will be exposed and we'll have a little prayer service. I want all of you, whole family, not taking up other work unless you have to report to your office. Whole family to join in at that particular hour and prayer. That doesn't mean it is over. We have to spend the whole day in prayer. At least one member should be praying through the whole day. Can make a chain of the members in the family so that the prayer doesn't break anywhere. So I invite you to join us. I'll be praying for you and we pray for each other that we may be saved. And this virus, it has to go away. We have to storm the heavens. Pratha ne karenge to bhaagye ka ne. Pratha karoge to bhaag jayega. Kaun khada rega Jesus ke saamne. Hamari pratha ek aisi taakat hai. Ye pratha ke dwara hi hamir shaitan ko bhaga sakte. So God bless you all. Stay blessed and get ready to spend that whole day with Jesus. Yes, you can fast also if you like. But prayer is a must. Fasting and prayer goes very well. So we can also try fasting tomorrow. God bless you all and take care.